When working on animation in After Effects, you perform a lot of different repetitive tasks. This can be really annoying, especially if you're working on a big project, but this is what plugins are for. Most of the plugins that are actually useful are paid and some of them can be really expensive. In this tutorial, I want to show you my top five free plugins that are actually super, super useful that you can use in your next animation project. So this tutorial is sponsored by AE Juice. They produce a lot of scripts and tutorials for After Effects, for Premiere Pro and for other softwares. And they have a collection of free plugins and they also have paid plugins and bundles as well. I can't believe some of these are free. I've been uh, using AE Juice for like quite a while now uh, and I've been using it for most of the projects that I'm working on. Let me show you my collection of free plugins that you can download today. First, let me show you how you can install their application from where you can download the plugins. You can follow the link in the description below. When you click on the link, you will see this page. Click on the green button here or here if you're on Mac and you can download their installer. It will ask you for your email. I'm just going to add mine you will receive an email from them that you have subscribed to, to their software. Then from there, you will be able to download the plugins. Right, so just download the file. And when you do, you see the folder and you, you're going to see this file inside the folder. You can click on it. And then from there, you can install their package. So when you open After Effects, you should be able to see this panel. If you don't see it, you can click on Windows and then from there, click AE Juice Pack Manager 4. When you do that, you see the panel where you can see all their packages and all, all their plugins, basically. When you open this window, you will be able to see this icon. And when you click on it, uh, you will be able to install it. When you install it, you will see this panel. As you can see here, look at this. This is so beautiful. First of all, you see a bunch of different folders here. And then here you're going to see a preview of the element. What Starter Pack is, it's basically more than 100 assets that you can apply like in no time on your animation projects. And they're separated into different categories. So these pre-made assets are great, but you're probably wondering how you can use them. I just opened the project that we finished recently. So as you can see here, we have a few bubbles. If you want to create a custom animation, you need to draw these frame by frame. And this is why I think this liquid pack is so, so, so helpful and so useful is because you just, uh, you just add it with like a few clicks and you're ready. So say for example, that I want to add one here when this bubble appears, let me look at the library. Well, I think this is good. This one is also good. Um, let's choose one. Maybe this one. Smoke 6. I just double click on it. It'll take some time to download it. Okay, so I'm going to move it here and I'm going to change its position. Here. And I would like to actually move it below the bubble. And now I want to change the I want to change the color because as you can see, the bubble is green and our element is white. So I want to make it green. First, I'm actually going to use this tool to take the color from here. I'm going to open the pre-composition. And the other cool thing is that you have controls so you can just change the color in one click. So let me go back and let me see how this looks now. Okay, I think it looks amazing. The only thing would be that I'd like to add a little mask here. And uh, yes. Great. So I'm going to move it to the left a bit. I want it to start here. And so, yeah, so this is the final result. So as you can see, it's super easy to use and I think it looks great. So this is another example where you where we use these pre-made animations. I think it looks really good. And as I mentioned, it's really easy to use them. So that's about the starter pack. Now, let me show you the other free plugin that I think you're going to love. This is the free sound effects. So if you click on AE Juice and the pack manager, you're going to, to see the sound effects free pack here. Again, 
see a bunch of different folders with different sound effects. I think these are super handy, especially if you're adding your sound effects in After Effects directly, not in Premiere Pro. The good thing about adding the sound effects while you work on the animation is that you'll be able to see the duration of this sound effect while you animate. So as you can see, you can just double click on the sound effect and you're going to see it in your composition. You can move it, you can make adjustments to it if you want to. This is a pretty, pretty long uh, sound effect. Most of them are shorter. Uh, like uh, the keyboard sound and you can also see the duration here. Um, so that's the second free plugin that I would recommend. The third one, if we go to products again, is the, the devices. So again, here, if you double click on it, you'll download it and then you, you're going to see the library. The library contains like three different folders. You have the devices and the placeholders. And I'm actually going to open a new composition so I can show you what you can do with this plugin. This is especially handy if you're working on like uh, an animation for an app, if you need to include a tablet. So this is the iPhone 11 Pro. And when I double click on it, I'm going to see a composition with the iPhone. Great. Okay. So here is my iPhone and let's see what we can do here. If I open this composition, we have a camera, we have controls. So if I want, for example, the base to be black and not white, I can do it with just two clicks. Uh, if I want the shape of the camera to be, um, let's say white, again, I can change it with two clicks. I also have more controls. I, I have like the shadow brightness that I can adjust. I have the back camera being off or on, and these are 3D devices. I can also rotate them in 3D. If I have like something that I want to uh, animate, I, I can just add the screenshot here. And then if I go back to the composition that I created, I can make this uh, layer 3D and I can also click on this little icon here. Let me go back to the controls and actually change the base to be white. And I can also change, for example, the shadow intensity. In order to make it look good, I need to make it minus 20, let's say. And if I go back, you can see that the shadow is more intense. And I can rotate this device however I want with the X rotation, the Y rotation, the Z rotation, and I can create great animations with this uh, with this tool. The next free plugin that I want to show you is Shifter. You can access this tool by opening the AE Juice window and then clicking on this icon here. And then here you can select AE Juice Tools Shifter. So let's say that you have all these icons and you want to animate them all. Let me create a very simple animation of the, the scale. Uh, so this is, this is the super simple animation that I created. I'm going to copy and paste this animation to all the icons. So now if I play it, all of them, they all appear at the same time. Say, for example, that I want to have like a longer scene and just to make this scene more dynamic, I don't want them to appear at the same time. So I want them to appear one after the other so you can keep the attention of the viewer. And if you don't have the shifter, you need to manually change all these uh, elements and all these vector files. And that can take forever. Imagine if I had like 100 layers. Uh, so let me show you an easy way with shifter. And I'm going to select all of these layers. I'm going to uh, click on this icon and I can change the frames here. But for now, let me just use the default setting uh, being one frame and I can click on stagger. And then from there, as you can see, with just a few clicks, all of these layers are now shifted. If I change these to, let's say, five frames and click on stagger again, they are going to shift more and I'll have more time for all these. The other free plugin that I want to show you is actually super useful if you want to copy and paste the graph of the keyframes, not the keyframes themselves. Because say, for example, that I want to change these keyframes. So the keyframes of this icon, I can open the graph editor from here. And this is a pretty basic uh, movement. So let's let me make some adjustments here. And OK, this is how it looks now. I might. OK, I think this looks way better and way more natural. 
great. However, if I open these keyframes, as you can see, the graph is different. And it's different because I made the adjustments to this layer only. If I decide in the middle of the project that I want to change the graph editor, uh, this would mean that I will need to change all the keyframes. And I have just two keyframes now, but again, imagine if you have a bunch of keyframes. Well, what I can do would be to open the Aegis panel again, click on this icon and click on Aegis tools, copy ease. This is the final free plugin that I want to show you. Let me show you what this does. As I mentioned already, this is the graph of the, like the scale keyframe for this icon. And this is the new graph that I just created with the better keyframes. So what I can do would be to click on the layer and then from this panel, click copy. And then I can select these keyframes and click paste. So now if I open the graph editor, as you can see, these two graphs are identical. And if I go back and I use the shifter, I'm going to select all of them. I would like to change this to three and click stagger. And I have this beautiful animation that saved me a ton of time. Uh, if I had to do this manually, that would take at least 15 to 20 minutes. And as you can see with this plugin, you, you can automate this whole thing. So the link from where you can download all these free plugins will be in the description below. I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, please leave a comment below. I would be super interested to see how you guys find these plugins. Do you use them on a daily basis? And if you have any questions, please feel free to drop a comment below. Thank you so much for your time and I'm gonna see you next week.